Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share with you some of the best wisdom from ancient and modern philosophers. Today, I want to talk to you about Stoicism, a school of philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and Rome, and that has been practiced by some of the most influential people in history, such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, and many others. Stoicism is not just a set of abstract ideas but a practical way of living that can help you overcome challenges, cope with stress, and achieve happiness. Stoicism teaches us how to focus on what we can control, how to take action, how to be virtuous, how to lead by example, and how to cultivate a calm and rational mind. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is the dichotomy of control, which means that there are things that are within our power and things that are not. The things that are within our power are our thoughts, opinions, judgments, actions, and reactions. The things that are not within our power are external events, such as the weather, the economy, other people's behavior, and so on. The Stoics advise us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot control. This way, we can avoid wasting our time and energy on things that are beyond our influence and instead use them to improve ourselves and our situation. Some things are up to us and some are not up to us. Our opinions are up to us and our impulses, desires, aversions, in short, whatever is our own doing. Our bodies are not up to us, nor are our possessions, our reputations, or our public offices, or, that is, whatever is not our own doing. So how can we apply this rule in our daily life? Well, one way is to use a simple technique called the Stoic Fork, which is a mental tool that helps us distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot control. Whenever you face a problem or a challenge, ask yourself, is this something that is within my power or not? If it is within your power, then do something about it. If it is not within your power, then let it go. Another key teaching of Stoicism is that we should not only think rationally, but also act rationally. This means that we should not be passive or lazy, but rather proactive and diligent. We should not just talk about what we want to do, but actually do it. We should not just dream about what we want to achieve, but actually work for it. The Stoics believe that action is the best way to express our nature as rational beings. As Marcus Aurelius said, don't talk about what a good person should be. Just be one. Oh, how can we apply this rule in our daily life? Well, one way is to use a simple technique called the Stoic Reserve Clause which is a mental tool that helps us balance our goals with our reality. Whenever you set a goal or make a plan for yourself, ask yourself, what do I want to achieve? And under what conditions? Then add the phrase fate permitting or if nothing prevents me at the end of your statement. Another fundamental teaching of Stoicism is that we should live according to virtue, which means excellence of character. The Stoics identified four main virtues that we should cultivate, wisdom, justice, courage, and self-control. Wisdom is the ability to use reason and knowledge to make good decisions. Justice is the ability to treat others fairly and with respect. Courage is the ability to face difficulties and dangers with bravery and confidence. Self-control is the ability to manage our impulses and emotions with moderation and discipline. The Stoics believe that virtue is the only thing that is truly good and that can make us happy. As Seneca said, virtue is nothing else than right reason. So how can we apply this rule in our daily life? Well, one way is to use a simple technique called the Stoic Role Model, which is a mental tool that helps us emulate the best examples of virtue. Whenever you face a situation where you need to act virtuously, ask yourself, what would a wise person do? What would a just person do? 
What would a courageous person do? What would a self-controlled person do? Then try to act accordingly. Another important teaching of Stoicism is that we should not only live virtuously but also inspire others to do the same. The Stoics believe that we have a duty to contribute to society and to humanity as a whole. As Marcus Aurelius said, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. The Stoics advised us to lead by example which means to show others how to live well by our own actions rather than by our words. The Stoics believe that actions speak louder than words and that we can influence others more effectively by being a living proof of our principles rather than by preaching or lecturing them. So how can we apply this rule in our daily life? Well, one way is to use a simple technique called the Stoic Circle of Concern, which is a mental tool that helps us expand our sense of responsibility and care for others. Whenever you think about your role in society, ask yourself, who are the people that I care about? Who are the people that I can help? Who are the people that I can learn from? Then try to widen your circle of concern from yourself to your family, to your friends, to your community, to your country, and to the world. By using the stoic circle of concern, you will be more compassionate, more generous, and more altruistic. You will also be more influential and respected. 